Do you have any Sparky Anderson in you? Anybody that you have uh, from your playing days that you you put into your managing? Where again, you've won Manager of the Year in both leagues. Only one of seven guys to ever do such a thing. What do you well, have yeah, I try to take a little bit of, of you know everybody I've been around as far as managers go and and players as well. I came up in that system, and when you come up in in a system, make it to the big leagues, it's really like kind of a university, you know, your freshman, then your sophomore, you finally make it to varsity. I came up behind guys like Kirk Gibson and Alan Trammell and Jack Morris and, and Lance Parrish and Lou Whitaker and got to watch them firsthand and see how they played the game. So they're very impactful in my career. Kirk Gibson was just here announcing he's been a good friend of mine and took care of me as a rookie. But I try to take little bits and pieces of, of every team I've been on and every manager I've played for, good and bad. So um, but the Tigers are, are definitely a team that, that hmm. probably, you know, resonates as much as any based on the fact I came up with them. Who's the best player you ever played with, Bob? <sighs> uh, that's a tough question. Played with? Um, man, there are, there are a lot of really good ones. I, you know, how can you go wrong with Cal Ripken and, hmm. and what he did in Baltimore? You know, maybe maybe not the you know the streak and and what he brought to the table every single day he took batting practice every day he took infield every day and he played in every inning every game uh that's a pretty good one to start with yeah that's a that's an awesome one to start with the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience